everybody, it's Shannon and I'm on the road in the beautiful forest in the Austrian Alps. And I had such an interesting morning waking up. We're in this campground where you can just see the Alps just up all around and we had a great morning and then the guy who owned the campground comes comes raging up in his Range Rover and he's like and he pulls up. He's like and then he starts yelling at us in German. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, my husband speaks German, but this guy's yelling so much that he couldn't get a word in edgewise. So this guy's yelling at us and yelling at us. And what I'm gathering is that he's yelling at us because we're not supposed to be parked where we are and we're gonna ruin the grass. And then he tears away on the grass with, <laughs> with his Range Rover. And my husband and I both sort of looked at each other like, huh, okay, that was interesting. And this guy was livid. And after he left, you know, I had to pod puck myself and really push my barriers down. And, and even ever since he sort of yelled at us, it's really been in my awareness. So it's like, how much do you guys have people deliver like huge amounts of intensity and anger and judgment and energy at you when it, that totally shocks you and that you never really know how to process or can't figure out how to process or you try to defend yourself or you try to put up a barrier or you try to make them wrong or you make yourself wrong for what they've delivered at you. And you know, it's like, I went through all of that this morning with this campground guy and the more and more that I had to look at it and the more and more I sort of talked to my husband Max about it, you know, it's like Max made a comment about how, how impotent that guy must feel in his life to have to express himself like that towards us. People he's never met before, people who are taking care of the earth and enjoying the campground that he manages and being present with the possibilities on the planet. And he just fucking let loose on us. And it was this awareness of, wow, Where's that even coming from? And looking into his world and recognizing all he's dealing with and what he's not dealing with very well and not making any excuses for him. And then I started looking at, because we've been having sort of asshole German-Austrian interaction a lot on this trip because we've been driving through Austria um, and we were in Germany beforehand. And I kept on looking at it like, because every time I would get this specific energy of judgment and this guy just sort of let it out in all of its beauty and form really loudly out of his mouth this morning. And I was sort of, every time that I've been on the receiving end of that particular force and judgment, it really ties me up in knots. And so I've been pod pocking all my lifetimes that I've been an Austrian or a German, pod pocking all my lifetimes as a Jew in Austria and Germany, pod pocking, you know, everyone else's projections and expectations about that kind of energy and being Austrian or German or being Jewish. Um, and then I finally started looking at, okay, so this keeps on coming. This is not the first time. This is like the fifth time I've been on the receiving end of this particular kind of energy. I'm going, okay, so am I creating this or are people here just assholes? And so I kept on asking, am I creating this or are people just assholes? Am I creating this or are people just assholes? And you know, I had a shower and I'm walking out of the shower and I go, some awareness finally came to me after asking that question enough times. And I looked at how I have been getting angry about or towards particular circumstances or situations in my life, whether it has to do with business or um, you know, my, my in-laws or um, some of my relationships in my life. And th those energies that I've been experiencing have been sticking me and not creating an expansion or needs or a peace in my world or anyone else's world. And as soon as I was sort of walking across the lawn this morning, it came to me, it went, it was like this energy that I've been being and delivering that was like this guy that came up in his Range Rover, you know, all guns firing. And I caught this glimmer, this creation point, if you will, of wherever I've decided that anger or force or judgment or violence was the right creative energy for my life, was going to achieve the result I was after, even though I've seen it every time not create the result that I'm actually happy with. And as soon as I recognize that sort of seed of creation or that point of creation where I decided that or bought that as my reality, instantly all of the tendrils and all of the shutdown started to unwind unlock and unfold and this whole new possibility that i couldn't see before began to open up so keep asking what's right about this you're not getting what if all of the characters that we cross on our path what if all of the circumstances 
and the energies are part of the dance that we're creating. Now, I'm not saying that it's your fault that there are crazy mean people on the planet, because there are just crazy mean people on the planet that has nothing to do with you. And if you keep having the same experience over and over again, or you keep having the same situation in your relationships over and over again, or the same financial reality over and over again, you might want to start to look at, where am I creating this from? What is this? What do I do with this? Am I creating this? And what's it gonna take to create beyond this? So I'll be very interested to see how my social interactions with the Austrians and Germans are for the rest of this trip. So thanks for watching guys. Enjoy the planet, enjoy your life. I know that life can be <laughs> an interesting path strewn with perils and danger, and it can also be a path strewn with magical possibilities. Have fun, care for yourself, trust yourself, and how does it get better than this?